In this tutorial, I will show you how to export a basic map with a scale bar and a north arrow. Okay, so here's the map that we have been working on, the base, basic map uh, of a portion of the Bellamy Wildlife Management Area. And now you might want to export this map so that you can print it um, or perhaps insert it into, a, uh, into another document, like a Word document or into a PowerPoint presentation. So we have two basic options um, for how to export this map. Um, the first is a PDF. Um, so if you wanted to print this map um, right away, you would probably export it as a PDF. Um, the other option is to export it as a photo, a JPEG. Um, and that, this would be most appropriate if you wanted to insert this map into another document like a Word document or into a PowerPoint presentation. You, we would export it as a JPEG. So regardless, either way, um, there's a few, a few things that you should do before getting ready to export. First is that we want to um, make sure that everything um, looks as neat as possible and that we're happy with how it's presented. We might want to scale this to be sure that the map fits well within the page and looks well within the page, and then decide if there's any other features that we might want to add. For example, it, it probably makes sense if we were to add the roads in here so if somebody would um, be more able to figure out how to get to the parking lot. So to do that, we'll just come, I'll expand our layers, and I'll, I'll, I'll turn on our roads layer, and so that looks pretty good. I'll just bring this over. Okay, so to create a PDF to print, we come up to this icon right here that looks like a printer and says print, and we click that. And so immediately, um, a number of, there's a couple of things to recognize. First, there are a number of elements, uh, features that pop up um, that we need to make some decisions about. Um, and then um, before we do that, I like to also first see how well my map is scaled to the page. So right now, um, the area that is um, light that I can see is the area that is going to print. And so that doesn't look too bad to me. Um, I'm missing Piscataqua Road. Um, if I wanted uh, if I wanted that road included, I would have to uh, rescale the map. And to do that, I have to first shut this off. So I come up here to the X, and then I would have to come up here and zoom this out a little bit. And again, as I do that, as we zoom in and out, just be aware of your labels. Um, for me, that's not, um, I don't like how that label overlaps that. Um, so I either have to change that or I'm just going to try to zoom in just a little bit. All right, so let's try that extent and we can come back to print. And I can actually scale, I can move this map a bit. here and just one more. I can again change the overall size of these labels and to do that I can come up to tools and options. Yeah right now my labels are large so I can click them onto small and to click apply and click OK. That gives me quite a bit more room. Go to print again, just make sure everything fits, and that fits pretty well. All of the labels are easy to see, they're easy to read, all of the roads fit. Okay, so right now that's basically what would, if I clicked uh, save, that's exact, what we see on the screen is exactly what would show up on um, the area that we're going to print. Um, so map elements here. Um, for me, I always delete the legend. For That's not a very useful legend at all, and there's no reason to have that on the map. So I'll come over here to Map Options, and I'll just click off the legend. I think you should always, it's always good to include a scale bar and a north arrow on your map, just to give folks a, a general idea of how big this area is and where north is. So I will 
And again, you can move these um, elements anywhere you want. You basically mouse over them until your hand looks like a little pointer, and then you can grab them and drag them. And then I can do the same for the north arrow. As a general rule, your north arrow should be near your scale, scale bar, and I usually like to um, center it over the scale bar. And then you can make a decision about whether you want to have a title or not on the map. That's pretty clean, but uh, if you're gonna print this as a standalone page, it would probably be good to give people an idea of what this is and who made the map. Um, those are two basic things that probably every map should have. So we will click this title on, and then we will, um, when this little pencil comes in, we can edit it. We click on that, and we can add a map typo, title. I'll say my map of Bellamy Wildlife Management Area. And I don't believe I have much control over the size. Oh, I do. And then I can come down below that and click here and I can add a little bit more detail. So I can say created um, uh, in March 2020 by Matt Tarr. Let's see if I can. And when I'm done, I can just click off of that. I can come up here. If again, if I click that again, I can drag this a little bit to influence. Again, I have very little control over what this looks like. And so you can just double check again. And then you just can either print it or you can click Save PDF. We'll say Bellamy Map. PDF, and click save. And then we can come, just open up this map. And so here's the map, when it, uh, what it would look like when it prints. So that's, this may be just fine for your needs. Um, one thing to note here is that Google Earth didn't preserve the weight um, of our polygons or of our paths. All of the lines that it printed um, are all thin lines. And so again, this may be just fine for your needs, very basic, uh, simple map. But if you wanna maintain a little bit more control over what your map looks like, then the best way to do that is to export a photo or a JPEG. So we'll come back and we'll shut this off. Okay, so here we're back right into um, our, our regular working area. I'll zoom in a bit. And so if I want to export a photo, then I'll come over here where it says save image. So here's where we printed. Here we're gonna click on save image. And similarly, a number of different um, elements pop up. Um, first, the, it basically preserves the element that we elements that we saved before. When I am exporting photos, I usually shut off the title, primarily because um, I will usually be putting that photo into a Word document. Um, or into a PowerPoint where I can um, add a title and have better control over that. And so I'll just delete that. But again, I will always um, keep the um, export the scale bar and the north arrow um, on the photo. That way, no matter what I do with the photo, um, I will be I will always be able to tell um, what the scale is. So here I might zoom in a little bit more because what you see on the screen is basically what you will see when it prints. And so again, um, if you're wondering, geez, where's my scale? Um, where's my control over my zoom? It's because you're in this um, save image um, page. So just X out of here and then you'll get your control back. So I'll move these around. Again, recognizing that these tools are not going to print on your screen, so I can use that part of the screen. And that looks okay. So I'll come back over here to save image. And that looks pretty good. I can I'll scroll this, zoom, let's drag this down a little bit. And again, uh, at this point, if I decided, boy, I wanted to have a leaf off photo, um, I would have to go back. Um, once once you're in here, I can't change the scale. Once you're in the save image um, 
mode, I can't change the scale and I can't change the year of the photo. But I will typically print a leaf on photo and then I'll go back and print a leaf off photo. So once you are happy with how this looks, you can go ahead and click Save Image and I will save this as the Bellamy map leaf on photo. And I always like to put the photo date in the name of the file. That will, I'll always know what the date was. And this is 2020. I'll click Save. If you decided that you wanted to save a leaf off photo, you would just click out of the save image mode using this X, come up to historical imagery, scroll back to a leaf off photo, and then save the image. So that's it. That's all there is to exporting very simple photos. In another tutorial, I will show you how to clean these maps up to make them very presentable um, and to export uh, so that you can create a more finalized professional looking map um, within a Word document.